Hey, what's up everyone? Chip Walters here. Today I want to talk about creating game models for Unity in SketchUp and we're going to be using Substance Painter to bake high resolution models onto low, very low, low, low poly models. In fact, we're going to take an extreme example. So let's go ahead and draw a one meter cube. So we'll go here. I'll type in 50, comma 50. That gives us half a meter. And we drag, push, pull 50. Let's turn off our, okay and scale and if I drag this it'll snap to two boom bottom right hand corner you see that okay so there's our there's our cube now let's go ahead and let's select these these edges let's fill these here we are so we got those selected and we go up and around it round edges and I want to go 10 I want to go two here and there we go so that's that then I'll click on this surface and click on this surface and I'll go one uh, offset of five there so uh, let's look at this now so if I triple click on this I'm gonna hit my vertex tools and it tells me 80 48 vertices selected so that means we have 80 uh, 48 total vertices in this model which is really kind of like I said an extreme example so I'm, but still that's, that's alright we're gonna show you how this works so uh, next, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to basically, I want to show everything in here. And once I've got those selected, I'll say extensions and I'm going to triangulate faces in the selection because in order for us to use uh, wrap R, which we have to create UV maps for this, in order for us to do that, we've got to actually have, uh, uh, we have to have all, all the, all the uh, polygons need to be triangulated. So, while I've got in the triangulation mode, let's go ahead and uh, actually let's just do this. Let's, let's select them all uh, and let's now, kinda, yeah, that looks good. So I've got, actually let's keep going there, right to there. So I've got, okay, I've got a couple, a couple lines I can use to uh, to uh, map these. So let's go in and do that. So I'll uh, select this. I'll start. We'll start going around here. There's one seam. Now what I'm doing is I'm just basically using uh, wrap R to identify seams how I want to un unfold uh, the UV map on this. So. And I'll drag, I'll, I'll create this right here. And that should do it. Okay, so let's take that. Um, and uh, now that we've done that, turn it off, select everything. Let's give it a, a, a quick texture. And let's go to, into here. And now we're in the wrap bar of the program. So you see we've got this forward too. Now, this isn't the most efficient way of doing things, but right now we're going to leave it for this. I'll hit the U key to select my UVs. And then move these around so I can get this one here. Uh, and then uh, you kick in, select these, move these around. And then uh, and then this over here, we're going to say you kick in. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to do you key and I'm going to select like all of these and I'm going to hit the scale button. And I just want to move them just in, down a little bit. Let's see, right? Something like this. So again, we can we can be more efficient in how we wrap these uh, uh, later on. In fact, maybe maybe we could do that right now. Let's. Okay, so uh, we can go in here and say let's go to this mode. You okay? And we'll go into here. And what I want to do is I'll just select with this. Let's select this and that, right? So that's gonna. Uh, and I hit weld and. Now they, they, they sync up like that. And then I can go into here, select this and that. Let's go here. This and that. Let's go, let's see, here. Maybe I can get it here. Yeah, it's gonna, yeah that's going to be, we'll just use that one right there. Uh, or we want to use that one. Yeah, let's do that one. And then we'll go ahead, weld them again. And now we have a little bit better. Uh, in fact, if I take this one right here, and say cut it. Now we have even a better uh, uh, sample. So hit the U key. Let's drag all these. 
and let's hit S for scale as we move up, undo. Let's hit the U key. I want to select all, everything, and hit S for scale. There we go. Move around, and then move it to where we want it. And now we're done. We hit the save button, and you want to continue editing? Nope. That's good. And now we right-click on our object, right? So we go in here, and we say right-click and say wrap bar reload from wrap bar so now we've added that so now what we have is we have a properly let's save this oh, let's save. we have a properly uh, uv mapped cube now how do we know well real easy what we need to do is export this so we say file export 3d model i'm going to go in here and downloads i'm going to call this my uh box underscore low dot obj and my options are I'm going to export the selection and export the texture maps. It's fine. Say OK. And I hit the export button. OK. Now let's go into Substance Painter. So this is opened up brand new. I'll go File, uh, New. I'm going to select this mesh. The mesh is this one. Open. Do uh, document resolution. We can, we can leave that alone there. Everything else looks pretty good, and we just, just, just leave the defaults, hit OK. OK, so, so there we have, I'm using the uh, mouse key to move in and out, or you can use the right button. Uh, this is using the same kind of uh, interface that Unity has for the most part for navigating. So there's our object, right? So one of the things that we may notice is that uh, we, have, we don't have a good smoothing setup on here. So let's go back to here, and let's double click on this, and let's add, I want to basically smooth this whole thing. Just like that. Okay, good. And now I'm going to say select it, file, export, uh, 3D model, box low, export, place it, yes. Okay, so now I've got it all smooth. I'll come back in here. And uh, by the way, one thing I'll mention is that remember we started off without a component, now we have a component. When you actually go to our wrap R the first time, it'll make a component of, of those uh, faces that you're using. So. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's do another new. Discard this one. We're going to select the same box low object. Say OK. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so now that's that's what we got. So that's that's what those those vertices look like. Remember we said we had uh, uh, 48 vertices. Wow, not many. So how can we make that look cool? We'll have to see. So so let's take this uh, and let's hide it. And let's create another uh, another box. If we hide it, grab this, go here, 50, comma, 50, return, push, pull. We're going to move it up about uh, 50. And let's see, let's look at this from the front. Okay, there's the front view. So I want to actually take, take it all, and I'm going to, I'm going to move it here. 200%. So snap into 200. There they are. 2.2. Okay, there we are. So we have that. And now I'll take this and make a component. Let's call it uh, left or, or side. Okay. So that's our, our side of our box. And uh, let's Shift V it, so that's going to be, uh, I call it Shift V, but it's a mirror. Uh, so we have a mirror now. Now we can go in here and we can edit this. Let's see, let's go in here. It's, it's a view, component edit. Let's, uh, yeah, so, we'll go, so we edit this and we say F uh, for fillet. Uh, which is this round edges thing right here and I'm going to say this is going to be 10 as we had before I notice I'm going to actually jack up the segments now so we're building the high resolution model now so we're going to do smaller or, or, or we're going to do uh, higher resolution segments Let's make this 5 and this is 5 and there we go oops I forgot that I need to get uh, let's, let's do it this way 
Ah, not going to work. Let's go in here. And just do it this way. What I'm doing right now is just selecting the edges. And now I can come back into the round corners tool up here. And there we go. All good. Okay. So now we have this. Let's while these are solid, let's go to the front view again. Front, and I'm going to take this particular tool, which is detach from S4U slice is what that one is. Okay, so and this is the detach one. So if I select on this, we go, okay, we go here. And okay, delete this and make these a component. Should be okay. Here we go. Now go into here, select this, and oops, scale it. And I can just say, oh, let's see, let's pull it in this way about. 0.95 and I can go here hold the option key in as I drag it 0.95 and we'll just do that gives us a okay okay there we have it and so let's uh, while we're in here let's go ahead and I'm gonna add a uh, uh, some components some some components to this let's turn off Close my outliner, go up here, go to these, uh, my livets, and select this. Go and grab this one. Actually, before I do that, let's take this and let's hold, let's go to extensions and let's say set a center point. So there's a center point there. I can drag this over there. It'll snap to the center point, hit the scale button, hold the control key down, and there you go. We got that nicely done. Uh, while I'm in here, let's just let's delete this. And, oops. I need that there for something else I'm going to do in a second. Let's go ahead and add one more of these here. Let's see. Where's my... Let's grab this. Stick it here. Take it there, hit the S key, and grow that up a little bit. And we'll take this one, stick it here, S key, drew that up a little bit to T, move it around on the surface. Good. Okay. So there's there's our boxes that's going. I'm going to take this and delete that. So now I have and. That's fine. And then I'll go into this model and I'm going to draw a little circle on here, something like this, and push pull this down just a little bit. And with it selected, let's hit the scale button and I'll go 0.8 here. And then I want to go this way too. Point eight, right? So, so we have that. So now this, this, and this. I'm going to actually group this because this is uh, when I start softening the edges on this. I want this to stay pretty hard. So I'm going to I'm going to just group that like that. Come in here, push pull this to the top of this. Select that. Uh, actually, delete delete this. Yeah, so when I group that, notice that, yeah, we're good. Um, I've got this I need to get rid of, and that, yeah, I need to get rid of. And I can just take this and give me a fillet of, let's say, three and five. That's probably pretty good right there. Okay, 
So there's, there's our little fillet area. I think we're all pretty good here. I just need to eat, eat, get rid of this and this. Okay, and so this group, uh, yeah, this needs to be, yeah, there we go. Oh, we have something else left, left here. Actually, let's, let's do this. Okay. Now, okay, exactly. So, what we're going to need to do now is take this ring right here, that curve, Control C, and Control Shift, Control V, paste it in place, and then uh, just delete that. And now we're good. Okay. Okay, so let's just say this is our model. So let's go ahead and start colorizing it now. Uh, let's just go to our components first. Um, I'm going to take, uh, let's take here, this, oops, undo. Okay, I'll take this, we'll go here and here for those. And then I'm going to take this other, the lighter one here and that okay let's grab some more colors I'm gonna grab that for that and that uh, and this seam is gonna give us a problem all these seams are gonna give us a problem so let's go into this object alone yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna take all this this is not yeah it's a group so I can take this now and smooth it okay and let's grab this component and let's give it a different color Let's grab this component, give it a different color. There we go. Okay. And now let's grab let's grab our, this little guy here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, actually let's do this. I'm gonna take both of these and explode them. And then I take both of these and explode these. Yes. And then I just tap on that. Okay. And then I can, and then now I'm going to take this and I'm going to group it so I don't lose anything. Okay. So I've got, delete that. So you see that's what that looks like. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this thing, both of these, and I'm going to explode them. And I'm going to, same thing here, tap on that. And then I'm going to take and just give me that. Let's make a different color than that. Let's make it blue. Okay. Okay, so. And let's take this and this, float these. Now, these might get affected if I start, if I, well, let's select it all and let's tweak this. Yeah, that worked out good. Okay. Okay, so we're good. Now I think we're, we're, we're all set, ready to go. I'm gonna take this group the whole thing and say file export 3d model and it's uh, box low so we're gonna go box high 
Okay. Now that we have this exported, we're going to jump into uh, Substance Painter. And here is, as you recall, this was our, this is the, the model we brought in. And we just hit this bake button, bake textures button down here. And I'm going to go in here and I want to add, click this little button right here. I'm going to load my high, high model in. Okay. And I'm going to use these default settings and I'm going to use that 512 very, very low because I just want to see what it does. I'm going to show you that, that, that we're going to have to adjust some of these. Uh, also, I'm going to go into ID real quick and got to always not vertex. I want to use material color and that's good. Okay. So back to common. Now I'll say bake, bake this. So it's going to bake it for me. Okay, so you see what we have here is it baked it, but it, it, it we didn't get much resolution and we didn't get much depth on some of this stuff and it just it didn't it didn't look too good. And what I want to do is I'm gonna go back into baked textures and I'm gonna move this max frontal distance up to say something like 0.2 and the rear to maybe 0.3, something like point something like that. Now I'm gonna hit I'm gonna bake it again. Okay, so now you can see we're starting to get we're starting to get something. We're starting we, we're getting all the all the details we want we just don't get a very high resolution so which is fine so i'm going to go back to bake textures and this time i'm going to bake it at like a 4096 it's going to take a little while um but once we're done uh actually let's do it 2000 let's do it let's do it a little bit okay so that looks actually pretty pretty decent for 48 for 48 uh <laughs> 48 vertexes so Let's come in here and I'll show you how we use these colors. I'm going to hit this fill here. By the way, Jerry Perkins helped me out a lot with this. He's Master Xeon. He kind of walked me through this today. Spent an hour of his time to do this. Very kind of him to do that. So I've, I've added this fill layer. I'm going to go into my uh, materials right here. And I'm going to add a, let's see, let's add Painted steel. So I, if I just click on here and click on here, you see we have now a painted steel. But I want to add a mask on this. So I'm going to say add mask with color selection. And I click this pick color, right? And so I can basically say, okay, that's where I want the painted steel to be, right? So how cool is that? Um, and then uh, I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to have uh, add a fill layer and right click and say, uh, add massive color selection, pick color. I'm going to grab this one up here. And this one, I'm going to use the same steel rust, but I'm going to change the color, the material color in here, and I'm going to make it just a little bit lighter. Okay. There we have it. And this middle one, we're going to make that more of a bright color. So let's add another one, a new fill layer. Uh, Add massive color selection. Let's give this fill layer, let's make it uh, something like this plastic mat. Okay. And, oops, remove mask. I didn't get that. Let's say, okay, let's add mask with color selection. There it is. Okay, we hit pick color and we have that. And now we've got that working quite nicely. So, we get the idea. Um, so I'm going to keep doing this until I get all these done, which I'm going to do, uh, fairly quickly now. I'll, I'll uh, come back after I get these all done. Okay. So here we are. We have this done. Um, notice our mat, our masks are just, just, just up those up that to 248 that gives a little 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 better quality as you can see um now that we have this all all configured uh for us nicely i will go in here and right click and say export textures and i'm going to put those textures and and i say uh, oh actually before i do that let's do one more thing Let's do this. Let's go into, uh, let's add a little bit of distress on this. So I'm going to go up here, not on the, uh, these are the last two. So this is that, yeah, I'm going to leave these. I'm going to go right to this level. I'm going to add uh, a 
fill layer. I'm going to put iron on it. This is iron rough. Let's see what else we got. Iron pure. Let's try that. And then I'm going to go under here, under the smart masks, and let's grab something that looks like, what's, what's this one look like? Let's see, paint. Let's grab that one and drag it and put it on there. You see what we did is we just added kind of a, a grunge layer to that whole thing. Now, where I, if I move this up, I'll get the grunge layer across oops, everything. Should we? Yeah. So go into here, maybe play with the uh, contrast. Uh, our yeast try planer. I'm going to turn that on. That gives us a little better mapping for this kind of thing. And I want to probably, also while I'm in it, uh, let's go right into this fill layer. And see my height map is on, roughness, uniform color, but I don't have a height thing here. So I'll go over here under this and say, height, do I have my, I may not even have, let's, let's go into this. Oh, I don't have height turned on. That's why. Okay, now I can go in here. You can start to see that I'm starting to cut into it a little bit now with this. Okay, that's kind of good. We'll do that. I can also go into. Uh, I want to get back to this uh, mask mode. I'll show you one more thing that I can do in here. And this generator, this is kind of cool. Uh, you can basically say you can choose different kinds. That's kind of a scratchy kind of thing. You can adjust the, how much wear you want, right? You can say wear contrast. You know, notice it's, it's, it's here's a curvature weight. That means where it's actually, so notice it's, it's more along here. If I turn the wear level up, you'll see it actually gets, you know, it's, it's more, I mean, you see we're, we're actually affect, affecting it over here too. And, you know, I really want to go into this, into this area and the height and let's let's move it just a little bit just a little bit less there we go I think we're much better now that works yeah okay so now I'm gonna right click and say export textures and we're gonna go into here and find this box text select the folder and I want to use my Unity by Metallic. And I'm using 2048. I don't know why it's, why that naming is that. I don't know if I can rechange it, but that's all right. We'll just and say export. So open the folder. And here's our folder. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and let's let's open up Unity. Actually, before I do that, let's go in here. Let's go in here and let's go and say, and I need to take this one, hide that, I think, and then go to this one, unhide. There we go. That's what I want. So I'm going to say file, save as this, 2015. Good. Now let's go into Unity and just really quickly move that around. Okay, so here's our Unity uh, file. What I want to do is I'm going to go into my box here. Here's the box. Um, make sure I generate light maps. Apply that. There we go. And then take the box and I can just probably just drag it into the scene here anywhere I want yeah. and if I go into the box you'll see I'm, it's right here and I want to basically go in here and say this is the shader so I'll go to materials this is it right here I'm gonna lock this down and Let's go back into here. So these are my 
materials I just saved. So let's grab this one, this one, and this one. Drag them down into here. Okay. And okay, so the albedo goes right up onto here. The metallic goes right into there. And the normal goes right into there. And it's going to have this fix now. So we turn the fix now on. And now we can start to see that for 47 vertices, we've got a pretty nice model, as you can see. I think you can see that's a turned out pretty good. So again, there's only or yeah, you know, it's, it's very few vertices. As a matter of fact, if I you know view shaded, let's go into wireframe. We'll see <laughs> see how many vertices are on that. There's not many. And shaded. So that we just created a fairly complex little object, game object, and we used very few vertices. Now I might actually go in and, and add more vertices at some point if I was going to do this, but uh, I just wanted you to see, you know, the system and how, how well it works. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a little bit longer, kind of ran into some hiccups, but for the most part, this is a great little workflow. Thanks for watching. Bye.